Well, it's dirty and it's brown, it's a little in town. Like I just got it out of the middle of town. Trying to test it, drum infested. Stained by food, partially digested. Nobody can say what you find between the dirty couch gushes that have never been clean. Missing keys or American cheese. Trying to sit where the kiss will see. Pleasure to meet ya, we're happy to see ya. In the nasty food did it, did it, did it, did it. All right. Cool. Welcome to the Dusty Futon. How you doing? Thank you. Doing good. We've got the meddlers right here, at least a couple of them. Now, you guys are a six-piece ska band. Correct. I fucking love ska. I just Who doesn't? I know. It's just, it's a party. It's party. Yeah. I mean, it's literally just fucking party music. That's all it is. And um, sorry, I'm, my headphones were low. I'm the one with the headphones here being an engineer. <laughs> he takes it away from me. Um, he robs me of that experience. So you guys have only been around since 2015, though. Yeah. And you're already making a bunch of ways, pardon the pun, with ska music. We like to think <laughs> so, yeah. That's cool. So when did you guys like first get kind of into ska music? And, I mean, so let's start with, uh, well, first let's introduce you. Um, who's Alex? That's me. I had a feeling. All right, that's Alex. And then we've got Jonathan. Hello. And so that's uh, Alex. You're the main vocalist besides Ma Marine? Marilyn. Yeah, yeah. Marilyn. It's okay. It's misspelled. Oh, whoops. somewhere. That's all right. Because it's Mary. Uh, Marion. <laughs> we'll have to get on that for yeah, sure. Yeah, I forgot where it's misspelled somewhere. So I'll edit that out. Um, so you're the main vocalist, one of the main vocalists, and then Jonathan plays bass, and you play. Uh, oh, you're the only guitarist in the band. Mm -hmm. So you play the lead parts too. Well, I mean, lead as far as you can in Sky, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you're the... the inch, exactly. Inch, inch, yeah. inch, inch, inch. Yeah, exactly. So, that's right. I didn't, didn't think about that. I feel like an idiot now. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, you like play the lead, too. It's not really... The lead's kind of the horns <laughs> and the bass line. <laughs> so, but at least we, we, do have the, we do have the bass, the rhythm section right here. So, and you're, and you're backup vocals. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Cool. Okay. All right. I, I've yet I've yet to really like consistently get a mic on stage in front of me, but <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it's well, that, hard when you got you know three horns, two vocalists. That's yeah. a lot of mics. Yeah, on you're running and out. And a set of drums. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my god! And you got other percussion instruments back there with you too, right? No, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. But yeah. <laughs> need to get a couple more mics and a couple bongos. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> At some fun. point, I'm sure. So where'd your interest for ska come in? Um, well. I mean, I grew up listening to bands like Leftover Crack, like a lot of kind of the more squat punk kind of scene. Okay. I didn't really get into ska with horns until I started playing with these guys, actually. Really? Um, yeah, I was I was into I liked the Operation Ivy and that kind of stuff a lot. So who's the who's the the brains behind the band? Yeah, it's kind of kind of a <laughs> lot of us. It's like okay, so because you you came in, they were already formed. No. Um, okay. So. So a couple of the other members, uh, three of the other members have been playing in the kind of L.A. ska scene for a while, right. kind of Latin ska scene. And then they sort of wanted to move into uh, a new direction with this group. And a um, couple of people met a, a buddy of ours as the Barry player through college. And then he referred me to them. And then we all kind of started going from there. So that would be Din Fernand? Yeah, Fernandez? that'd be Din. Okay, that's your Barry Sax player. Mm -hmm. Baritone. Baritone Sax is what he was meaning by that. What does ska yes. with horns mean? Well, ska is a style of music. Well, yeah, I got that. Okay, horns, baritone sax, trumpet, the tenor sax, oh, that's okay. what they have in their band. So horns are instruments that... Not a musician, musically yeah, illiterate. Completely. No, okay. He's no in worries. training. Yep. So I see. So the, and the, yeah, so, so basically, <laughs> remember how we talked about the vocals, about how like there's yes. a tenor and an alto for males? Mm -hmm. That uh, all woodwind instruments have the same kind of tonality for them to give because they have different they have different timbres and they have different sizes they're horn instruments they're wow. big they're oh size my gosh. yeah they're horns well, they're, they're, they're woodwinds so yeah. that they like operate a certain way yeah oh they're man. really cool oh that should have been so obvious yeah <laughs> that's, a, that's a horn mm -hmm. oh jesus <laughs> that's all right <laughs> oh you'll get there all right anyways <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's. That is staying. In. I'm not in that. Oh, out. Don't, don't edit that out. That's a brilliant piece of stupidity right there. That was great. All righty. So uh, you mentioned the Los Angeles. Now you guys are actually from LA. Uh, we're kind of from all over. Well, okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Then? Uh, we're both from Long Beach. You're both from Long. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I've been to Long Beach. I've been to the pier there. I have also been to Long Beach. Yeah, lovely I liked town. Long Beach a lot. Long Beach was cool. Now, um, cool. a couple other famous ska bands came from Long Beach. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is Safe Ferris. 
Are they Long Beach? Um, I think a couple of the members are for yeah. sure. I know. I mean, Sublime's kind of the big one. Yeah, Sublime's the big one because I I actually and I was living in Huntington Beach in ninety eight ninety nine, like when the mm. ska scene was really bumping oh, yeah, up. So really kind of Safe Ferris, Real Big Fish, Early No Doubt, and yes. and I gotta say, listening to some of your songs, it actually kind of brought that back. So it was pretty cool. Glad to hear it. Now, yes. um, you guys have one album already out, and right. Well, we've got a couple songs out. Yeah, really. a couple yeah, songs out, a couple it. singles. That's what it was. <laughs> so, um, how how many songs are you are you working on an album right now? Yeah, we're just about to really start cranking on it. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. about it. <laughs> but you are you playing live? Yes, we've okay. been playing live quite a bit. Kind of been yeah. a main thing recently. So, okay, so you're pretty much just like, what do you got coming up? Well, we've got. Um, I don't remember. Not another these. Ska Fest? Yeah, not Los another Globos. Ska Fest at Los Globos is coming up on. That's the 27th, I think. Something like that. Um, and Thank then you. we've got uh, we've got a couple sort of house shows going on, one on June 9th. Ooh. Um, now, do you mostly play up in L.A. or do you play in San Diego, Orange County? Well, we haven't played in San Diego quite yet. We played a show in Tijuana. It was one of our first gigs we played. Oh, wow. Wow, you um, went right past us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You had to yeah. drive through us to get there. Yeah. yeah. We're hoping to play down in SD pretty quick, though. Alrighty. It's a good, it's a good it. place to play some ska music. Definitely. There, there's definitely a high interest here, mm -hmm. which cool. would explain how I found you guys. Yeah. Perfect. Just kind of clicking through some links and then jamming out for a little while, and then, oh, all right. Awesome. Back in the day, I actually uh, I auditioned as a drummer for I auditioned for a ska band. Oh, really? Up in Huntington Beach. I said I lived there from uh, 98 to 99. They said, sir, the metal auditions are down the hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any hair. Actually, I did have a little bit of hair back then, but I was shaving my head. You don't headbang in ska. No. <laughs> we try to. We got do a you? All songs. right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. These guys, dude, you guys actually kind of mix up your ska. You're not just ska. You're like, uh, and you, you mentioned earlier the uh, Latin ska influence. Mm -hmm. I can actually feel that in one of your songs it there's a little bit of it the Tijuana show yeah yeah Tijuana. definitely would well it, it explains a couple of the band members names mm -hmm. yeah Jimenez Cervantes Fernandez yeah the trumpet player plays in a lot of mariachi bands so he's that's definitely where that comes from for sure <laughs> awesome all right well let's take a listen to the first track you gave me or gave us I should say and this is uh yeah, I'm part of this too yeah I know right <laughs> Yeah, but small part. It, actually, they gave it to you and you forwarded it to me. That's true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is going farther by the Metal. <laughs> that is definitely not ska, by the way. <laughs> kind of big band esque. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Between the instruments. I love that. Can you explain that personification for me, please. Oh, the exchange? Yeah. It's like a conversation. The instruments are talking back to each other. So you'll have, uh, like, the trumpet made us, right? Right now they're talking together. Oh, okay. And they kind of go back and yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it goes yeah. back and forth, they're talking to each other. And she's just singing. Right, right. <laughs> she's talking with the instruments. Yeah, exactly. Everything might as well be lost. My head's still sore. They won't leave me alone.
<laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, I gotta know who wrote that song. That was a lot of us. We try and write everything together for the most part. I was part. gonna ask how how do you guys go about writing songs with so many pieces in the band? It's just got every song's got to be like a compilation of melodies that you guys all just yeah. throw together and see what works. I think our best work usually starts with one or two people kind of working on something at home, bringing not a completed song necessarily but a pretty concrete idea to the band and then just over the course of many practices we kind of just hammer it out mm -hmm. eventually it gets to the point where we're ready to record it all right now do you record all parts simultaneously or do you add do um we didn't for those tracks um i'd i'd like to start recording the horns together i think there's a magic when that happens but yeah um, it's hard to kind of grab that, that 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 lightning in a bottle. I love that term. That's one of my favorite musical terms, lightning in a bottle. It's kind of hard to. Do you know what that means? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that one. That one I know. You're looking a little green over there, so I wanted to make sure you're clear. I'm just listening to. It. Okay. Um, but but yeah, it's kind of hard to capture that when you're literally when you're tracking. So having the microphones, uh, having them all looking at each other, that'll be awesome, man. So yeah. you don't have you don't have any gigs lined up yet. We do. Uh, you yeah. do. Do you yeah. have the dates yet? Wait, did you say that they before the song? That. We did. Yeah, yeah. Fest. I just wanted to confirm it. And yeah, it that's has what been I wanted. Confirmed. And we're doing a house show at my house again. At your house. Mm -hmm. You want to give the address? No. <laughs> 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 we can link it to my website. You know, get everybody there. It'd be like Project X. Come on, let's do this. If you if you want to come to our party, reach out to us, and mm -hmm. we'll, I'll. I'll We'll see. Screen you. I'll yeah. screen you. <laughs> exactly. Wow. If you don't look like a ska person, you're not coming. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do I look like a ska person? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Cool. Can I headbang to your ska? Is that okay? Because yes, Trevor said, I don't. Head, I can't headbang to ska. Yeah, you I can. mean, you can I guess you could. <laughs> you might look a little weird, but... Well, I look a little weird without headbanging, That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, this is that's exactly what this is. It's, it's why it's radio and not even though there's a... See, there's no cameras pointing on me. Notice that, right? I don't want to break <laughs> yeah, for some He pointed a camera at me and told me to start dancing, and it just... Well, it's, dance, it's like the dancing bear. I mean, that, we finished with the Russian-sounding song, so yeah. let's do the dancing bear, you know? Why not? Oh, of right? course. All right, I get it. So where did that Russian feel come in? Who added that? Uh, I would say that was probably Marilyn, actually. Really? She's, she's really big into um, the band by the name of Squirrel Nut Zippers. Oh, yeah. I love those guys. Yeah, yeah. She that's turned me on to them. That's my favorite big band-esque band out yeah, there. Yeah, they're pretty fucking sick. Uh, yeah, that sick is a good word for them because they got some weird shit coming out of their vocals and, and yeah, their exactly. lyrics, too. But they're funny. They're um, would You you wouldn't class them as ska. No, I wouldn't, but I think that I would say that a lot of modern ska bands, especially in that Latin scene, if yeah. they don't know them, they listen to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it it, it gives you that. Yeah, the, that that's what's interesting. Ska kind of does border on that, depending on how many instruments you have, how many horns you have with you, because a lot of ska bands only have a trumpet. Mm -hmm. that, that's all they've got. So they're just kind of pure ska core. Is that what that's called? Ska core, yeah, ska yeah. Core. I would say so. That's like just the trumpet, and, and it's very, very light, like a four-piece band. Um, and then when you start adding the horns, you get close to that big band sound. Mm -hmm. And you guys went for that on that track. So um, Ska trips me out. It, it, there's so many different things that can get thrown into a ska band and into a ska song and into just a ska, anything ska scene-esque. Yeah, like you can throw so many different things in and take so many different things out and see. And I think it's because just very versatile. I think because it's I like the the word that comes to mind when I think of ska. And I mean, I think there is there are some really serious ska bands, and we try to do that. But wacky is ironically that's the thing that kind of yeah. comes to mind when I think about it. Yeah, and I think there's so much room to be sort of crazy with yeah. it. You know, it's almost like a kind of a what a jittery. ADD kind of thing going on. Oh, you're absolutely! Just like hopping around, or or it's you're perfect on for us, John. Smoking too much coke. Oh, you don't smoke too much coke. coke you, you know, yeah. yeah, you don't. We were smoke. saying that's, in the car. That's crack. Ska's the. I mean, if you know, if you want to do reggae, you smoke weed. If you yeah. want to play punk, you do coke. If you want to do ska, you can do both. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a confusing. Like high, down, up, down, yeah, exactly. up, down, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> down. <laughs> Yeah, crash on the floor. Yeah. Absolutely. By the end of the night. Oh, man. Um, oh, that's what it was. Your logo. 
Who? How did you? Did one of you guys design your logo, or was it professionally done? Um. Well, no, it was professionally done. I was about to say it looks like really fucking awesome. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, it was worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would the idea of that come from? Because it's it's kind of a compact, solid, just black and white. Or mm -hmm. like, uh, do you know? Uh, do you know the movie They Live by any chance? No. Is that a vampire movie? No. So so it's this kind of cult movie from the eighties and. You know, we kind of ripped the uh, one of the characters from it, but in so in this movie, it's about this like weird drifter that finds these special sunglasses, and you put the sunglasses on, and you can see through propaganda, and you can see that like the people ruling the world are these kind of like warped zombie-looking folks, huh. and that's basically where that character comes from. Oh wow! Yeah. And then uh, the name, the meddlers, who came up with that? How did that? How did that fit into all this? That was months in the making. That took yeah. so long. It, it, it kind of just clicked. Like there, we were throwing a bunch of stuff out there, and they were just like the meddlers. What, yeah, that was the other names you were yeah, close to settling. That there. was the one that stuck on the wall. I mean, there was like whiskey fist was one I remember. <laughs> whiskey fist, I like yeah, that one. whiskey fist. There just were a fist. bunch. Yeah, fist, um, not not fifths. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fist. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a, I saw a band recently at a at a show we went to. Called, they were called Ass Pocket Whiskey Fellas. Ass Pocket uh, Whiskey Fellas. Uh, all right. Great, great name. <laughs> It's like you just start putting a bunch of names up on the wall and throwing darts and seeing which ones it lands on. That's pretty much what it turned into. Yeah. Again, with six people in the band, it's hard to get a name where everyone really loves it. And that was the first one, I think, that we found where everyone was kind of like, oh, okay. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. We're yeah, not even exactly. going to go any further. Yeah, pretty much. It's not worth it. No more wars are going to get started. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We were almost plastic with a K. Oh, that was, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, plastic with it. Now, what is what it have been plastic spelled with a K or plastic with a K? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the second one I actually would have been down for. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that would have at least given it some. It makes yeah. it panache. It makes yeah, it, some makes zing. It hop a little bit. Only if the first word has the C on the end. Yes, yeah, yeah. plastic yeah, with the a K. Then thing it's like it. that, yeah. that's real ska. It's like yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Now. You guys uh, have six members, and they all seem like you have very, very different personalities. I'd say so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want to help me out with that, or do I have to ask about each one of you guys? Um. <laughs> no, I mean, okay, so you guys seem pretty chill right now. Is that? Did you, like, smoke a bowl before you walked in here? Or? No, no. No? Not today. No? <laughs> Not today. Not today. Well, Tomorrow, I mean... Maybe. So after, right after, we're talking go. about how Sky's Scott Sky Sky's like very upbeat, very popping, uh, very moving, and but you guys are chill. Is that like kind of a counterculture thing where sometimes you're just chill when you're playing, you're all amped up, save all the energy for the show. I suppose that's kind of a decent uh, description of how we go about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I think a lot of people would be surprised at at how many bands off the stage really just don't want to talk. You know yeah. what I mean? It's <laughs> not that we don't want to talk. Yeah, no, of course <laughs> not. But yeah, I think there are a lot of musicians that are surprisingly reticent. No, that's you know? and that's kind of why I do this because I want to be able to give uh, all the musicians a voice and give you a different. Uh, exposure to your fans in a different way rather than seeing you popping jumping around on stage acting like acting a fool this microphone is acting a fool uh jumping and popping popping around and having fun they can see that you're just regular guys hanging out you got all these ideas for music and that's it you're artists so so what else do we have working you've got two songs that you gave me we'll listen to the other one in a few even though I asked you for another one, but nobody sent. Sorry, if those two are what we got. That's man. all you got. Yeah. yeah. When do you when when are we estimating something coming out? End of the summer, hopefully. Yeah, end of the summer, probably. We're gonna have at least a couple more done. At least a couple more. Yeah. yeah. When have we seen it? Well, I guess that that would make it difficult with six people. It's not like a yeah. four piece rock band where yeah. you can just say, "Let's just practice every night, bro." Yeah. And then, like you guys, it's like, well, how often do you practice? We practice weekly. Weekly? Yeah. Yeah. That's about right, yeah, for a big member band. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's about what we can do. I mean, on our own, we all practice extensively. Of course. But, yeah. You should. Yeah, of course. A real uh, That's the thing. A real musician practices and plays every day, not just because they want to practice, but because they, they love, love their it. instrument. Well, and just, I mean, even, you know, past that, it's, you know, if you don't play for a week, you're worse off. Yeah. Than the, it's just... Especially with guitar, it's called rust. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. there's a very there's a very interesting ska technique for that that sound that that. Uh, 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 it's he looks at me every time he explains. No, music no, it's okay. He knows well, you, I'm the you only one in the room that doesn't get it. Well, they're playing it. No, you I know. Are I'm, the just, only I'm just one saying, like, the room that doesn't get. Do you get this? 
Do you understand what I'm saying? I gotta stop doing that. No, too, huh? no, I don't, I don't yeah. understand. No, it, it, it's it's cool. It cues me to make fun of myself. Well, it's 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 good to make fun of yourself. Self deprecation is. is fun, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. It's a good. It's a beautiful thing. So, okay, how many shows have you played already? Uh, I think we're up on 500. <laughs> no, nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and, and not even a year. Yeah. You must get sick of those two songs. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am I, curious. What what do you guys play when you do play live? If you only have your two original songs. Oh no no no. We have. I mean, we've got we've got a full oh, okay. minute set of original music. Yeah, oh okay, yeah. cool. It's just well, a I mean, of what's recorded. We right. Oh, okay. We do one cover, but we like to gotcha. think it's a pretty original cover. <laughs> what is it a cover of? Uh, we wanted to do. It's a cover of an old mariachi tune by the nice. name of Nino Perdido. Nice. The Lost Child. No, yeah. no idea. I've never heard. Perdido. I'm not a mariachi Written guy. Off. I don't. I don't know why. I just can't get into it. <laughs> I understand. It took it. It's like it, it's. I think you, you have to have get a really deep appreciation drunk. for the Mexican culture. Yeah, it really is. It's very culturistic music. And I That's have a good way of putting it. There's kind of I Love think Mexican. I think for a lot of American audiences, there's kind of a romanticism to it that is sort of lost in translation. Mm -hmm. you know? I can I can see that. You said romanticism, and I was like, eh, okay, then yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, there is when 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 you're talking about like formal Spanish versus versus casual Spanish. That's that's what I liken it to. Yeah, and it's it's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big. All difference. right. So when you record, where do you record your stuff at? Um, so those two tracks we did uh, in a studio up in L.A. with an engineer by the name of Chris Sorum. Okay. Um, but now most of our recording we actually do with me. So with you. Yeah. Uh oh. What does that mean? Um, so I studied uh, audio engineering in college. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan puts a thumb down like yeah, no. Of okay. Getting. So you studied. Audio engineering, yeah, and production and that kind of thing. So now, just um, the track, the one track that we've been working on for now, it's kind of on hold at the moment. But uh, but we do it at uh, my school has a studio that has a pretty nice setup. So ah, take what care school of what do you go to? There. Uh, Los Angeles College of Music. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a lot of a lot of guitarists go there actually. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of people. Um, a lot of people that either wanted to get into Berkeley or couldn't afford it. <laughs> it those two. Berkeley kind of school dropout. Berkeley yeah, school exactly. Dropout. No, that's funny. <laughs> I feel like there's probably ten thousand schools of music in LA, so they must have gotten there on quite that pretty a few, early yeah. to get that name. Well, they Los were Llama for a long time, so Llama. Los Angeles Music Academy. Yeah, yeah. I like that though, Llama. <laughs> Where do you go to school, Llama? What? Hey. Do you know? It sounds you like know you're a crazy of, person saying words to. Do you know the sound yeah. a llama makes? Does anybody no. know what the sound a llama makes? Is? No. Me Can't either. say I do. Oh, Same sound as a rabbit. I'm so anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> and a fox. They, they do weird, like, how gurgling howls. Yeah, like... Alrighty, Except so... Not if I, if I wasn't looking at you, I would have thought there was a fox <laughs> in this room. <laughs> Thank you. That was pretty That was pretty accurate. So I'm trying to find... Okay, so this is interesting. There's a lot of, actually, a lot of bands called The Meddlers. Have you guys Googled Couple, yourself? yeah, yeah. And there's one, I, I went to the Reverb Nation at first, because I knew you had a female in your... Uh, did you, have you seen that Reverb Nation? Um, I want to say they're from the UK, right? I think it's a UK rock band, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mostly covers. We, uh, I feel kind of bad saying this, but but it seems like a bit of a wedding band, so we thought we weren't really stepping on anyone's toes. All but, right, well, that's good, that's yeah. good. If there's a well, high density of covers, it's okay to take their name. Yeah, absolutely. That's my theory. Absolutely. Well, you guys came up with it first, right? Just many... Years ago, uh, yeah. you're the original Absolutely. artist here. Yeah, you're yeah. The, the original name. Original name. Original <laughs> I, get it. I like that. I get it. <laughs> Copyright infringement is no longer happening. They stole our name. <laughs> they had it before you. Yeah, but our music is original. They just play Led Zeppelin and over and over again. And our music is better. <laughs> it's better, man. Yeah. So, so we win. But that's like your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That's my opinion. Wait. Um, Anyways, so you've you've already got some notoriety, like you said, you've only been around since 2015, but you've you played with Sectacore and the Toasters, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and those are e those are East Coast ska bands, right? Oh, I was well, a very proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sectacore mm -hmm. the Sectacore. They're more of a Mexican band. Um, okay. Yeah, those guys. I knew the around, name, but man. I've never heard them before. Oh man, they are a trip. You got to check them out okay. if you're into metal. Sectacore, they kind of bring that. Oh, it's it's hard to describe, Is but I would Metal definitely. Get, yeah, absolutely, that kind of thing. Oh, Metalachi. Metal we, yeah, we 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 coined <laughs> that. We heard about that. Yeah, we we had that coined a couple a uh, couple yeah. episodes ago. Yeah, they do exist. Metalachi does exist. Wow. What was it again? Sectacore. Sectacore. Yep. S e k t a c o r e. I've got it written down right here. If you want it. 
I have it written down right here now too. Yeah, so okay, we're good. And the Toasters, that's a Scott band, right? Yeah, they're from yeah New York. They're from New York. Yeah, that's that was a pretty proud moment for how'd us. You, how'd you yeah. land that gig? Um, so the uh, the trumpet player is pretty close with. Uh, he actually plays in uh, a band by the name of La Resistencia, and the drummer for that band is uh, one of the bigger ska promoters in L.A. Oh, wow! And wound up throwing us a bone for that gig. Dude, you know yeah. that happens a lot in L.A. I've been finding out the more time I spend up there that the it's all being at the right place at the right time. Absolutely. And that's it. It's it's your work. I mean, obviously, your, your work speaks for yourself, so you would never have been up on stage with these guys if you weren't good. And it's interesting how your, your email you sent to us, the little handwritten bio, or not handwritten, but the self-typed bio, yeah. and at the very end it says, here to stay. <laughs> yeah, of course. We like to think so. We're hoping so, I should say. Well, so far, you guys, I mean, you're landing some decent gear. Yeah, you guys, uh, you sound good. You definitely sound good. Thanks. And I love the uh, the extra um, the extra horns. And Marilyn's voice, she does that crooning in some of her songs. It's incredible. Or in that last song. Yeah, uh, it does a the, pretty good job. The kind of um, lounge singer crooning style. You get that? I don't know what crooning means, but uh, I got lounge singer. I well, Lindy, lounge singer part. Lindy's voice, the way she was singing. Oh, it's kind of a crooning, kind of jazzy, bluesy oh, okay, sound, cool, like yeah. a, a lounge singer would, but in, in, in the female version of a, a little lounge kind singer. of Marilyn Monroe. All yeah. right, got that kind of vibe. Yeah. Exactly. I wanted to ask this a couple minutes ago. Do you guys speak Spanish? Uh, un poquito. Okay. <laughs> I hope to soon. Okay. Not really. <laughs> We're working on it's it. Take a lot of work. Yeah. Me too. Me too. That's uh, yeah. Awesome. So I, we're in I, good I, company then. I speak a very small amount. I can read it a little bit. Je and I plan on français. learning it again yeah. very soon. Je parle un peu de français. That's French. But French. French. Jesus Christ. We, we <laughs> need to speak French here. We, we need to speak French. <laughs> no, no français. It sounded like a redneck trying to say French. Ain't no French here. <laughs> Ain't no French here. Either that or French fries with ranch. French. Oh, those dude, are good. That, that's the ultimate combo. Those are good. <laughs> the, the last gig that I played on on Friday, they uh, gave us food for backstage, and they're just like fries, ranch. And I'm just like, thank you, thank oh. you for that. <laughs> this Seriously. is all I need. Yeah, that's all you need. You should put that in your writer from now on in your of contract. Of course, writers. yeah. The green yeah. room requirement. Green yeah. room requirement. No nope. French and ranch. fries and ranch, or just say French, and if they don't figure it if out, they don't get it. They, yeah. If they don't Never ask, play there again. Yeah. If they don't yeah, ask, exactly. they violate the contract. Pull a David Lee Roth. <laughs> 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 no green M and M's. What was that? Brown M and M's. Brown M and M's. Yeah, that's actually in. You know what a writer is in the contract? It's basically a band requirement. It's like yeah. in order for us to do this, you have to do that. And the famous thing is uh, Van Halen uh, in no their writer. Brown no brown M and M's. So you have to have M bowl M and M's. What was the reason for that? To make sure that they read the yeah. contract. That's oh, it. oh, okay. Yeah. So if they walked into the green room and they saw brown M and M's, they know that the the venue never read their contract. I wonder. Mm -hmm. I wonder what would be a bigger indicator: a bowl of M and M's with brown M and M's, or no M and M's at all. If it was, oh, uh, well, no M and M's at all would mean. I like yeah, no brown M and M's. Yeah. We got that covered. No, yeah. fuck the M and M's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, no M and M's. No, you know, you, 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 you kind of stumped me on that one. You didn't say that there had to be M and M's. You I just think said they that there do. couldn't be any brown M and M's. I'm not sure. I don't yeah, know. There, yeah. there are some pretty brilliant ones. I don't know if you've ever read Iggy Pops. That he's wanted like seven dwarves, each with a bottle of champagne. <laughs> like, it's insane. Some you could look. Ridiculous. You could look that up. Actually, you can Google crazy writers, crazy concert writers. I, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that that's my favorite. Fun. That would be fun to come up with. All right, just let's sit there, all of you, and just come up with the most obscure shit to <laughs> ask for. Yeah. yeah, that's the dream, right? That is, <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what that's what they do in here. That's what the music is all about: is sitting that's around right. coming Des up with obscure decide, shit. Yeah, deciding what odd thing we want them to oh, figure out. That just come across my mind: uh, monkeys with parachutes. Mm -hmm. No, nope, that doesn't go in a song mm -hmm. today. I want a parrot <laughs> to sing me the first song that we're gonna play. Well, it's kind of interesting because the next song that we've got from them is called "On Our Own," which is. Uh, kind of a theme of taking out being on your own and doing your own fucking thing right absolutely all righty so this is the meddlers on our own <laughs>
You're very, you're very soft spoken mm. in, in your speaking voice, and your singing voice is extremely strong. Thank you. Strong outro too. That, wow. Yeah. Bookends. <laughs> I got. I got. I have this you know idea what? Actually, go ahead. That like. So I think of the different <laughs> venues that different types of bands play at. Like, punk rockers have these underground places that you would never even know existed. We've played a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then like, hip hop artists have clubs and all that. DJs have their places. But ska. I don't. I don't know of a of a specific venue but i know of a specific the event beach. and it's somewhere where like you could dance this yeah. this music makes me want to dance it's you like, need i'm a not even a very good this, dancer yeah. the street party music be. it's yeah. beach music that's really ska Something music outside where yeah where you can move, where you got a lot of room to move around you don't need a stage you just throw the shit up there and you just start banging on stuff and yeah, yeah going exactly. crazy so do you, have you guys played uh, uh gigs like that yeah definitely i mean i think our i think the I mean, the festivals we've played have always had a dance floor. Cool. Um, I, I think that's a really important part of ska for do sure. people Definitely. mosh to your ska ever? They do, yeah, yeah. yeah. In this in this <laughs> scene, it's it's interesting. You can see, so for ska, they really like to do this kind of like circle skank, I mm -hmm. think is what they call it. Circle, circle skank. skank. Can you describe that? I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's uh, so hard to describe skanking. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of just like skipping and doing the running man thing. And oh. you, you can kind of adjust your pace, but you still look like you're doing that thing. Yeah, the, and some okay. sometimes it can turn like when for the Scott core shit, like people. Uh, yeah, um, run to do each soon other. Soon as the can, punk yeah. beat comes in, people are cracking heads. Oh God! Yeah. I never understood moshing. I, I didn't either. In Japan, I, I they like, just skank in place. That's they just like great, look yeah. at the stage and go. Oh, so, oh. it's great. That's, have you guys played Japan? We yeah. haven't. We'd love to. That would be fucking great. It's they're they love our music. They eat it up. Uh, they eat up American music all the time. Like all of our American styles. Everything. Dude, it's strange when you go over to Japan. I've I've been to Japan and I've seen a, a native Japanese person doesn't speak a lick of English wearing cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. It's I, a, I played baseball with a bunch of Japanese kids, and they were they like they came over, and there was half of us were from here, and half of them were for, from Japan, and they were just so enamored with everything we were doing. I gave them rides a couple of times, and they were just 
locked into whatever I was saying at all times, just like <laughs> like a bunch of kids listening to a teacher tell a story, just like, oh my god. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was the strangest thing. It's nice. It was. It was cool. Made me feel important. That's nice. That's real nice. Life. No, so, I was I was pretty surprised to learn how popular ska was in Japan too. Yeah. Like Tokyo Ska Paradise, those guys get down. Really? That's another that's another ska group that's worth checking out for sure. Okay. Well, to, uh, maybe link up a song from them as well. Absolutely. Um, what else you've got out there on the internet? Where can we find you more? Um, so we've got obviously not Reverb Nation. Yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, can't really get behind that one. Um, there's uh, that's kind of it as far as like what you want to find our music at the moment. We're really working on it. Um, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram. Oh yeah, well Facebook, website. Instagram, the website. Um, there's a few clips of songs we don't have out there yet. Okay. Yeah. You got you anything on SoundCloud? Uh, we do. We have those two songs yeah, <laughs> on SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can listen to them on repeat. Yeah, yeah you can. Well, they're worth, navigate they're your way through this podcast. Now, are they free streaming on? Yes, free streaming. Um, we have them set up on the website as well. So mm -hmm. uh, if you join the mailing list, you can get them for free. Ah, uh, so you got to join the mailing list. Speaking of mailing list, we should have people join ours. We should. The, yeah, if you go to the dustyfutan dot com, not not snail mail. Yeah, it's it's email. We yeah. we just send you an email to update you. Yeah, the, uh, the, the pigeon so, mailing list, the yeah. carrier pigeon carrier mailing pigeon. list. So it's at themeddlersmusic.com. Mm -hmm. That's where people can find you. I really yeah. want one of you guys to meddle in someone's business <laughs> and then write a song about it. No, yeah. we'll do our best. <laughs> Please do. We can do that today. There's a lot of people in L.A. Yeah, there yeah. are. A lot so of room to eavesdrop. So where, where have you played in L.A.? Like, what, what big spots? Um, well, Los Globos was a really great one. Um, mm -hmm. The Union in L.A. we okay. also like a lot. We've played um, we played Plaza de la Raza was one of the bigger shows we played. Yes. Um, trying to think of else. We played, the, well, this wasn't quite L.A. We played the Observatory okay, in yeah. uh, Orange County. That's mm -hmm. a good place. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, really great sound there. We played this uh, White Oak Music and Arts place, which is like a music store and lesson studio or something. They huh. have like this cool dance hall and like a... Was there another stage or was that it? No, that was the one, but okay. but that was a perfect example of a venue with a really great dance floor. Yeah. The hardwood floor underneath really nice. helped. Nice. Yeah. The only um, problem was it was super popular, so there were tons of people. And like as the night went on, oh, that's more such a horrible dance. Yeah, like, that's that's yeah. horrible to have so many people listening to your music. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sucks when the place is crowded. You know, when I go to a venue and there's like it's filled brim to brim, I'm like, I don't want to play this. Fuck that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's it's more like just, <laughs> you said there would only be twenty, <laughs> and there's twenty five. I'm done here. Yeah. It's just like wanting to go check out the other bands and dance. It's just like so hot and cramped. That's why I, I it's don't. It's an actual I, problem. It, yeah, it's another one of the. It's again a perfect example of a venue where you're basically breathing soup by the end of the night. It's yum. <laughs> yeah. Breathing soup. That's one hell of a visual. Tasty uh, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's fill in uh, the members of your band. So we talked about Den Fernandez. He's a Barry Sax. Uh, and then you've got Eddie Cervantes, who's your yeah, trumpet. trumpet player. And David. Govea. Govea. Who we're kicking okay. out, by the way. Oh. oh. No, so we're absolutely not. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just kind of a running joke, joke in the band. <laughs> oh, I so thought that was serious. I know. I was, I was like, like, whoa, uh, did someone just get booted on this podcast? I'm a drummer, by the way. No. Uh, <laughs> would've let, yeah, that was, I would have let the joke run a little further, but whoa. I can tell that it didn't. Like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. whoa. That would have been that would have. I would have played into enough. it. It would have been funny. Yeah, that would have been funny. Don't so. give up so easy. All right. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, now we're really kicking him out. Yeah, now it's really gone. <laughs> um, and then Marilyn Jimenez, your tenor sax player and the female vocalist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we got to get that typo fixed so you spell her name. I was like, how do you pronounce this? It's Marian. Marian. There's an L missing. My bad. I'm sure that was me. Probably. She also goes by Cat La Sax. <laughs> Yeah, Catless Sax. Cat La as in L A. Oh, Cat La. La or L A. Sax. Cat La Sax. Yeah. Cat La. That just sounds bad when you say it all together. Cat La Sax. Does she have a solo <laughs> thing going on? Because like that's a badass name. No, she's been playing for a while. She, yeah, she's, she's been, been pl she's been playing with bands. She never did like a solo thing or anything hmm. like that. So you guys have you guys all kind of bounced around and played different bands or before you came together with this? I yeah. Think so yeah. We kind of we kind of grew up playing together. So yeah. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, okay, that's uh, cool. Yeah, so that's really cool. We, we, Do you want to share more of that, or yeah. just yeah, you know, we grew up together. We well, we played, uh, we played in a, we played in a kind of like an indie kind of alt rock band in high school. Yeah, as you were saying, you're more rock before you got into ska. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So yeah. tell a little bit more about that, if you don't mind. We were doing uh, like a jazzathon, or was it just a playathon for the whole? It was, program? yeah, it was a jazz concert for high school. We both played in the jazz okay. band at, at high school. Yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah, I did that um, too. Yeah. It was, it was good for you. Yeah, it really yeah. was because you learned the swing rhythms on the drums. Yep. And you get yelled at by everybody when you're wrong. It's awesome. That's the thing that builds character. <laughs> yeah. 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 Our teacher, definitely. That's why I was only in it for one year because I didn't have much character then. <laughs> yeah. That, se- that seems to be the. It seems to be kind of the, the running theme with the metal drummers in high school. Yeah. They give it a shot for a year and then. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't a metal. I was just a regular rocker. I just didn't. Uh, I don't know. I love jazz. I love blues. But there was just something about it that. It's too. It, it's the rockers and the um, hardcore drummers love that steady beat. That yeah, hard down beat. That that hard down. You're kicking the bass on the down beat, or you're mm-hmm. doubling it, or you're pre- preparing for it and trying to do like a, a slam on the bass. And in in jazz, it's there's no steady bass drum. It's literally a random bass every now and then. Yeah, yeah. The only steadiness is the riding the ride, on the yeah. ride. And even then, you your accents have to change. Like that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I I think there are a few genres that like I think of jazz, bluegrass, yeah. even like death metal is these kind of genres where you can play a lot of other things and that genre just might not make sense to you. Yeah, you know, and mm-hmm. I, jazz is one of for me. I just I can you know I can get through it yeah. on guitar, but it never came naturally. Yeah, it, it does have um, to come naturally to you. It's hard to learn jazz if you don't have it. Same thing with blues. The blues. Yeah, if you don't have it in you, you just can't. If play you're it. not sad, you can't play it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just gotta learn so many chords and extensions <laughs> and relationships. <laughs> yeah, it's a very intellectual genre. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. You, you gotta learn it. You gotta follow it. You can't just jump right in and play mm-hmm. jazz. And ska's actually kind of the same way because it takes a lot of notes from jazz. I would say, yeah, definitely the sort of the older school ska, like mm. Scatolites and those kind of bands. All the like Jamaican groups, heavily, heavily jazz influenced. You know what I think is funny is the amount of puns in ska band names. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We actually almost did that too, and I'm really thankful we didn't go that yeah, direction. It, it, it's, yeah, some of them are really good. Like Scatolites is pretty good, but yeah. like some of them are really, really like corny. they're real big fish. Yeah, Ska's an easy band to Ska's an easy <laughs> genre to make fun of for sure. It's spelled R E E L. Oh, okay. Instead of R E A L. Okay. And so it's a, it's telling you to do something rather than a name. It's a it's an action name. Uh, you got a real big fish. Mm-hmm. Hey everybody, we're the real big fish. I just love that when they after every live concert they say that it's so freaking weird. Anyway, I know they're like the most mainstream anti ska band. They know what they're doing though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you guys got anything else you want to share with us? Uh, tell your fans, tell me, tell our listeners, tell Couch. Um, I'd just like to say thanks <laughs> for the support. Um, we've got a lot of really great people following us. Good. Um, yeah. People, yeah, there are a few people that keep coming to each show and just want to say on air, thank you. Hey, no problem. Yeah, it's definitely good when you got fans that actually follow you and 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 keep track of you. And um, we like that too. We do. We do like that. Yeah, we do like that. It's too. nice when people follow us. Well, online, not in person. Maybe, maybe a lot of people follow them. Maybe they'll listen to us. Yeah, maybe maybe your fans will like well, us. Listen to a couple of idiots talk to intelligent people. <laughs> You didn't have to I say it like that. Myself intelligent. Oh, I yeah. know, but you know. It's actually the opposite. Usually we're the smart ones and they're the dumb ones. We're trying to just pull. No, I'm just kidding. God. I was like, whoa. I just lost a lot of them, listeners. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't associate with him. I swear. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, no. Well, thank you guys for coming down. Uh, you're up in L.A. Mm-hmm. So most of your shows are going to be in L.A. and the North Orange County side where like the observatory is. What, what city is that actually in? Uh, Santa Ana. It is Santa Ana. Okay. That's kind of about as north as you can go before you hit L.A. Yeah. So, yeah, make sure and keep your eyes open for the meddlers, especially if you like ska, because these guys are good. You guys are really good, by the way. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so, hashtag here to stay. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Across all social media platforms, millennials will know what that means. Hashtag. They know what hashtag means, yes. Yes. Baby and, boomers, ask your kids. Uh, baby boomers, it's the pound symbol. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. And for everybody else in between, it's number. The number symbol. The number sign. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, Different thank you guys number. again for coming out and hanging with us here on the Dusty Futon. And, uh, it's our pleasure. Yeah, we'll definitely make a, get, a, get a chance out to go see your show. Get a chance out to go see your show. What the hell? Get a chance. I knew what you were saying. Yourself. If did, it makes you feel yeah, any yeah, better. Yeah, we, I just, I'm, uh, my English you. sucks. Start stumbling over your words when you're talking. To <laughs> I get it. All right, thanks again, guys, for coming out. Nice run. Nice run, Jonathan. Nice Thank run. <laughs> it was a base run. 
you know what that means? Is that like a home run in baseball? No. no. You got it though, right? Base run. You got it though? Home, yeah. Base run, home run, baseball. <laughs> well, base run and baseball would be running to one base. So. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. So it's a single. <laughs> if this was a baseball podcast, I'd be thriving here. <laughs>